Sup and good day, gamers. Uh, Formal Bust here with Xanthar Von Collector once again. But first, as always, my sponsor, your sponsor, Skyrim and all video games sponsor. It's H2O, baby. Drink it up. Well, thank you. I'll I'll resummon you in a second. But thank you very much. <laughs> drink up water, guys. Gals, they's, them's, everyone, drink water, you need it. Alright, we are finding Azura Star in here. In this dreary little place. What do I got? Okay. Uh, I heard you. I do not know where you are. Well. Come on around the corner, come on. Good job. Good job. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. An arch necromancer. Shucks. A storm spell coming through that wall of shocks. That <laughs> wasn't very long. Less than a minute. Alright, maybe maybe let's try stealthing. And if I wait long enough, you'll go away, because you really don't stealth, do you, buddy? Come on. Come on, go. Shoo. Go back to I guess. I guess oblivion. Come on. There it goes. Okay. Quick save, because we're sneaking now in heavy armor, which always goes very, very well. And with a light right next to us. Perfect. Did you hear something? Not at all. Let me get... Because this will help. Ugh. Screwing it up, just screwing up this perfectly good thing I have. You can scoot over, buddy. This is the one bad thing of conjuration. Sometimes you end up being a. Stuck. Okay. Nobody in here. Do not want that skull. That's a useless skull. And a tankard. Wow. Skull. Skull. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, just oh, I just love a spine on my alchemy table when I'm working. You know, it really gets me in the mood. I think I got it, but we'll take it. Why ruined books? Why do you exist? I know why you exist, but it disappoints me. Is all I'm saying. It's a ruined book. I mean, yeah, I'm sure there'd be ruined books in Skyrim, but you don't need a lamb around it. Ooh, enchanting increase. Hmm, very, very good. Very good, soldier. Meh. Meh. Okay. Oh, chair and an alchemy table. Original.
Come on, I gotta have all the books. Don't worry, don't worry. I know I've probably got all of them, but I'll make sure. Next time I'm at my house, I'm definitely gonna go through my book collection and be like, what do I still need? And what do I have, you know, triplicates of? Oh, over here. Oh, so close, so close. Okay. Got it in two. Nobody in here? Fine by me. What do we got? Anything? Useless. Anything? Oop, all good. We'll charge up while we're here. I'm gonna charge you up, don't worry. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. I'm not exactly sure what school of magic that affects. It, it would probably be destruction, since destruction has the other absorb spells. Oh man, you actually had some good stuff on you. Oh, you did as well. I am sorry to have counted you out originally. <laughs> Yeah, take that. Uh, nope. Sure. Staff of Ice Storms, yep. Okay. Quick save, because don't want to fight an Arch Necromancer ever again. Well, I mean, that one specifically. Hmm. Nothing. Are y'all just chilling? Are y'all... Oh, they're not even full, full, fully formed. Oh, well, you are. You're a full skeleton. Nope. <laughs> Neither of you are good. I don't want either of you. Jesus. Gosh. I'm telling you. Most destructive thing in this game. Just free-floating objects on the ground. In a cluster. Worst thing in this game. Okay, yeah, where's this go? Adept. It's never left. It's never left. It's got to be right. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Perfect. 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 Oh, well, this is really a cupboard in here. Ooh, master robes. That's what I'm talking about. Only one pound of inventory space, 3,000 gold. I searched you, right? Yeah. Yeah, I searched you. Ooh, some mist in here. Very misty. Not to just be bones. No, Book of the Daedra, sure. A lot of locked doors. Oh. oh. Uno. Got in one. Juniper berries. Perfect. Okay. <gasps> I wonder where this goes. Hey, this seems familiar. Nothing. Nothing up here on these shelves. Pathetic. Deluge. Iltania's Deluge, I believe. Well, that's a crumbled... Useless, <laughs> useless walkway. Come on, boy, go get him. Oh. Uh, no. Useless table and a useless anti-arc that's just in the way right now. 
Nope, just boots. Oh, well, those are some fine boots. Those will enchant just fine. Fine boots, they enchant just fine. Oh, boy! Grand Soul Gem. And some fragments. Great. You're a fragment, I can take you. For the f five gold you're maybe worth. Doors of Oblivion. Read it. Already. But thank you once again. And, no, oh, Petty. Okay. So we got a walkway and a door. Go through the door. Probably locked. Nope. Okay, not locked. Just a storage room. A storage room. Ugh, yeah, we're taking them. We're taking them. We're taking them. I'm hoping to end this episode either near my house or at my house. Because then, between episodes, I can uh, see what I need and what I don't need. Because especially when it comes to books, I probably need to stop picking up so many. For the sake of my inventory. Did I? No, I did not. You're all good. Ooh. That was an earshot. <laughs> an earshot on the elf. Could I be more stereotypical? Well, not an elf, but dark elf, looks like. A drew. What do we got here? Ah, come on, now you're just being difficult. I swear. <laughs> Frickin' bots. I'm just gonna, just gonna, just gonna get some resist magic, maybe some, uh, no health spells right now, okay, or potions, it's fine, it's fine, resist that magic, uh, okay. Why not, I probably have some disease, knowing Xanthar. to your staff. There we go. Gotta get them in the melees. That's how you get them, mages. Oh, no. Okay, on the left somewhere. Left for once, finally. I'm sure there's been others. Let me know about all the left ones I've forgotten about, I'm sure. I'm sure that'll really help this gameplay and this content that I'm making for you. Oh no. Nope. Right. Oh. Right there. Moi. Magnifique. Yep. Well, that was an easy lock. Perfect. Perfect. What do you got other than robes? Alright, check, check, nope. Mm. Leftish, finally. There we go. 92? Yeah. Definitely be uh, legendary and lockpicking once I get there. Although I don't think I get that. I think, if anything, I get one or two skill points. It's not many. Nope. Nope. Well. You're part of the door now, Arrows. I'm so sorry. You'll be there forever. Oh.
How did that not hit him? That got him. Not everybody? Okay. We're gonna say swell. Looks like there's stairs, so it's not everybody, but... Ooh, black soul gem. Definitely gonna make use of that. Chain lightning's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Oh, nope. Ash pile. Ash pile! Uh, oh, it somehow, I guess, went through him. Oh, do we have anything over here? That an Argonian could swim to? We probably do. Most, well, we have a skeleton, so. At least four gold down here, y'all. It's really worth it. And, well, eight golden bone meal. Okay. Nothing else of import? No chests, just some poor old fellows who got a uh, crushedy crushed? When? Yeah, this game does this a lot. Where it's like, yeah, that ceiling's not too unrealistic, but then this is all... Where, where'd this all fall from? I mean... Yeah, th this ceiling here looks intact. I guess it fell from there and fell all the way over... I don't know. Because, like, this is the natural ceiling they built in here, and it looks like it continues. I mean, there's a little break there, maybe, but... Uh -uh. Some of these cave they just put blocks and are like, yeah, it's blocking you. Go around it. Yeah. No. I do have an axe that I need to use, though, because somebody's going to get in my black soul gym. Why is it so bright here? There's candles there, and that's it. And it's... Okay. Inconspicuously bright here to fudge over you stealth players. You stealth players, you don't need you don't need shadows. Just just you know, bump up that stealth uh, uh, skill. What do we got? This is the top. Okay, this is the top. Well, it looks fine. I mean, as fine as okay. Malin Varen, you're just a skeleton. But all right. Oh, broken Azura's star. Oh, Malin Baron's Grimoire. Oh, okay, so we'll read this because it's about Azura Star. Uh, the Black Star, an achievement of magic over Daedra by Malin Varen, Master Enchanter. Though some scoffed, some scorned at the very notion of experimenting on a Daedric artifact, I have succeeded where the ignorant and superstitious would not dare to try. The Black Star, my achievement over the Daedric Lord Azura. Uh, re-envisioning a remastering of the ultimate soul gem. It shall become the vessel of my immortality, final proof that mortals can live as indefinitely as the denizens of oblivion. Okay, buddy, you're a little... I mean, yeah, you're living forever, but you're a soul gem, so good on you. Good job. Good on you. You're living forever. You're in a soul gem. Your actual body's a skeleton. I don't think you're alive, but whatever. <laughs> okay. The visions, the voices that Azura has sent to taunt me, while some called me mad, I knew the truth. Nothing can be held sacred in the pursuit of advancing the very nature of magic itself. Let the Daedra send their foul images into my mind. They have given me the burning desire and unrelenting discipline to shut out all influence, all mortality. Okay. Admits he's going crazy. And Blaine's on Azura. Good, okay. My disciples and I have built a new site, free of the prying eyes of those primitive minds in Winterhold. Fort Ilinat Ilinata. Il in Alta. Ilinalta. Sure. We had been conducting a few minor experiments before our exile, some of which led to the disruption of the island. But a few enchantments have kept the ruins intact, and beneath the waters of Lake Ilanata? Ilanalta. Ilanalta. Has been the perfect place for the final phase of the Black Star. Oh. She's got a monologue about your final phase in your book and not even share any details? I see how it is, buddy. 
gonna have to go back to those primitive mines in Winterhold. They might know a thing or two you didn't. Or a thing or two you did. Chest! What do we got? Ooh, nice. Nope. Yep, yep. Sure, I have it. Sure grip. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Every time I see, every time I, like, I look at chests, I'm like, ah, do I need it? Do I need it? It's like, can you carry it? You have enough gold. You just need to worry about what you can carry and what you actually want to use. All right, this is it. This is the top. We're at the top. <laughs> okay. Um, there is both a guardian wolf there and a guardian mud crab, M mud crab there. I think we're going to take out both of them today. So that's south. Well, I'm not going to go through there. I'm going to... Ooh. Ooh, man. Oh, we made it. We made it. We made it. We're good. We're good. And I think, well, well, so I got my bow. I think, and I'm not sure, I think I want to go vampire, just because I love the, the, the sky boxes out here. And if I did go vampire, pretty much all my videos from then on out, uh, at least especially when I was doing main quest line, or big boss fights, would definitely be at nighttime. So, I don't know. I still haven't made up my mind, though. I don't know if I'm going to be Dawn Guard, or if I'm going to be... Vampire, who knows, but I'll find out eventually. I got other stuff to do. I gotta finish the uh, Imperial or the Civil War quest line for the Empire. Just a poacher out here. You mind if I come up on your island, poacher? You're gonna get super mad at me for no reason. I've been hunting. Oh, you're just a fisherman. Oh, we do have a hunter. Y'all are some bad hunters. Really bad hunters. If while on an island, a deer and a wolf sneak up on you. I'm sorry, that's just that's just bad hunting. There is another one? I guess there isn't. Okay. So somewhere straight in there is the guardian wolf. And I'm willing to bet it has something to do with whatever this house icon is. Definitely seeing a lot of wolves on my way to the Guardian Wolf, which I guess means I'm on the right track. I hear you. Where are you? Don't tell me I one-shot the Guardian Wolf. Okay. Here, Wolfie, Wolfie, Wolfie. There we go. Well, all that's left for now is the Guardian Mud Crab, which I'm not, shockingly, I'm not too worried about for, you know, obvious reasons. It's just, it's just a Mud Crab. What, what's the worst that can happen? Novice. Come on, just, just, yeah, there you go. Real super easy. Useless bracers. Useless. What do you got? Okay, just your ethereal pelt and your arrow. Great, that I killed you with. Yeah, I skinned a guardian wolf that fine. How'd you skin it? He's ethereal. There it is. Shh, don't ask. Okay, we don't want to travel through the lake so much. We have cleared out Brittle Shin, but I'm gonna head here where I believe the road actually ends up going. So we'll run along the shore as much as we can. What? It's not what I wanted. <laughs> not what I wanted whatsoever. Okay, that's what I want. I need to stick to the actual shore though. This. Are you just? You're a thief, aren't you? All right, hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. <laughs> I 
night. I'm not going to ask again. Don't you walk away from me. <clears throat> Safe travels. Hey, you don't know this, but I did pick up a black soul gem, so... I will bash your face in to capture your soul. Or your soul. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you for your soul. It will come in use later. And I will take your mage. Yeah, that's all I want. Now, I don't know if you can find, uh, like... Because all the different, like, the apprentice and uh, adept mage hoods, I know you can find them through console commands and stuff. And a special room that exists in Skyrim. But I don't know if you can get all of the different levels of mage hoods and robes, really. I definitely don't think you can get the robe ones without um, modding or console commanding. But you find normal mage hoods all over the place, and they're great if you want to play like a sneaky character. But don't want to have to uh, wear armor. It's one thing in this game they really didn't, they kind of overlooked, I think, is the armor aspect, or the non-armored aspect. And there's plenty of mods that add in uh, perks on the light armor tree that give you bonuses for no armor. Although I think alteration is the only skill tree that gives you a bonus for not wearing armor. And it's a very specific bonus. It's only like when casting stone flesh and stuff. Useful, just not, you know, as great as you could go with unarmored uh, skills and perks. Okay, Rock, we're going around you. He, he totally seen me. Yeah. Now... Are y'all still around here? Have I killed y'all yet? And... Uh, there's small stuff like this that I hate. To my knowledge, there's nothing you can do with these people. Because they are vampires, 100%. Like, you can see in their eyes, and it's, you know, confirmed in, in game and everything. They're 100% vampires. There's nothing you can do to be like, hey, how you doing? I'm, you know. Now, maybe if you become a vampire, there might be. But I haven't seen anything uh, in my playthroughs. We got a slaughterfish in here? We got a slaughterfish following me. Great. You can usually outrun these guys if you just book it, but they also don't do too many damage. Too many damage. They don't do too many damage. Come on. Where are you at? It's a slaughterfish dog. I'm taking care of it. Where... Headshot. I mean, yeah, they, they kind of put slaughterfish in the game. Like, look out for them. They don't do that much damage, but they will prevent you from fast traveling and such. Okay. I need maybe that cave somewhere. Yeah. I think I'll, I need to stick my head in some cave or something real quick, cause. What? Not cast. Okay, that was a little close. I mean, it's nice not having you know a million map markers on your thing, but it does they do help you you know tell you where to go? I've dealt with this guy, hopefully. That or he ran off. Uh, okay, so a little more this way. Oh, even more? So, just that way. Okay. Hey, who are you? 
What are you at? I'm on my way to solitude. Good job. Good job. Good job. Join join the Imperial Legion. See Skyrim. And after you beat the Civil War, you don't have to do anything else ever again for the Legion. <laughs> that would have been cool. They could have added some cool uh, missions outside of Skyrim for the Imperial Legion. Or just, I mean, hell, on the border. Okay. I mean, there is literally a gate south of Cyrodiil that you can't pass by. Not pass by, but pass, uh, you can't pass through it. It just stops you. Well. What is this place? Broken Fang Cave. We're just gonna poke in. We're not gonna do the whole thing, because that'll be a whole production. Yep. This looks great. Bye. I'll be back later. <laughs> I, I assure you, I will be back later. You're a bunch of vampires who need to die. Okay. <laughs> Over there somewhere. I think I know where. This is also why I didn't want to pick up so much stuff in there. It's because I wanted to have some hides. So I can actually do some crafting. Woo! Speech! Always like to see that going up. And silver ingots. Shine is in. Okay, anything else? Well, lavender. Okay. Kill shot, baby! Right in the rump. Right in the rump. Yeah, Skyrim. Decent, decent hunting simulator if you like bow and arrow hunting. Um, or crossbow hunting. Okay, it's south of me? Somewhere there. Right? Yep, south. Okay. I have no marker, but I shall find it, I guess. Mud crabs. Definitely see some mud crabs there. Don't see an ethereal one moving about, but our best bet, I guess. Any mud crabs? Oh, no. That can't be the actual thing, right? That's a... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is an actual... Oh, what? Not us! He's not that hard to defeat, and I can run right through him, so... Golly. Okay, he's got nothing from... To... Okay, but... Maybe the actual living one might have been a harder thing to defeat, maybe. I don't know. Definitely freaked me out. I'll give I'll give him that. Definitely did not expect a giant mud crab. Meh. 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 Not that great. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just lazily head home. I mean, yeah, yeah there's plenty of time. Yeah, I gotta head home, but. Okay, I'll kill the giant on the way home, and maybe find the source of power up there. Maybe. For sure kill the giant, that's easy peasy. Source of power I'm not so sure about, because I don't know exactly the location for that one. I assume... Nope. Yeah, I'd assume you'd have to come over here and go up. Okay, so right there. What? So probably killing a dragon and a giant. Do I have... I have a hundred... Oh yeah, I can take some dragon bones. I don't... Don't like to, as always. I swear the uh, deer just ran through here. Oh. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Get it? Bad puns. That's all we got. Bad puns in Skyrim. We're, we're consistent, you know? 
What? Not cast! Dumb rocks. What do they know? Well, no dragon approaching. What? You say something? You say something? I warned you. Back off. <clears throat> Last words. I warned you. Back off. Nice. Oh, well. He's a mage of some sort. Okay, they fell. Okay. And you just have gold. Oh, it's fine by me. I just gotta go home, because I'm pretty sure I found something called Froki's bow at some point. Which, if that's true, then I've got his bow. And I think he will definitely give me something if I bring it back to him. One bad thing about mud crabs and arrows is they go your, your arrows will go flying. I don't even know where that guy went. We'll ignore him. Another one I spooked. Just accidentally sneaking up on so many of them. Anybody? Oh, that's... Yeah, that looks to be a cat. That or a log. Definitely a cat. Oh, well, that's one, too. I found the further one away. Oh, he died. Of okay, cool. You know, I swear that that's a cat. But that might be my eyes tricking me. Hey, something's detected. Oh. Be careful. I mean... I did just kill a saber cat that was in front of y'all. Okay, that's definitely a saber cat, now that I'm this close. Nice! One shot. Hold on. There's no way. Have I? Nope. Still an adept. Okay. Yeah. The way the game reacts to your experience and everything really kind of... Sometimes I question it. Okay, remove that. We will find whatever this small hut thing is out here. Mostly because I'm curious. I don't know. Oh. This is like a full-on house. Nope. Not at all. Just let it go. Get the next year that you don't, you know... Spook off. Who's got a Drelas? Drelas? I'm sure this will go fine. I mean, it doesn't say it's trustworthy. Yeah, yeah, let's just go in. Just go in. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sure. Well, we definitely have an enchanter. Never should have come well. <laughs> Well, man, Drelas. Drelas. You one motherfucker. Okay. Sorry, Drelas just came in to say hi, but I guess not. Okay. Sounds like there's some skeletons also, so that's great. Don't know where they are, but we'll find them, I guess. I wish you could just, like, hold E to pick this stuff up, but you can't. That's drag stuff around. 
It's ingredients. It's not stealing, right? Uh, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, come on. He attacked me on site, y'all. It's Castle Doctrine. They attack you and you get to take all their stuff. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Don't know why he's auto hostile though. Kind of disappointing. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I really don't need to. I really don't need to. I really don't need to. Hey games, why would you make this sit at a table when you sit at a bench? And if I am gonna sit at a table, I would sit on the table. Oh, alas. Okay. Something's breathing in here, and it is not giving me warm fuzzies. And I can't find it, because I don't know where else it'd be, unless he's got it downstairs, maybe. We'll just take the potions. We don't need all the books, I guess. They're here if I need them and want to steal them. Okay, who's breathing? Maybe they're spawned in the wall? I really don't know. Well, I'll go outside and maybe that'll figure it out. Maybe. Possibly. Because I definitely heard it here. And I no longer hear it here, so. I ain't gonna worry about it. Okay, so, finding some source of power up here. Well, there's a source of power. Or one sprint, that's good. Dragon rend. And give me a bow. Now the second source of power, I believe there's a standing stone here, but that might be over that way. Oh, you're you're a you're a real nice dragon, ain't you? Beard dragon, man. Okay, I got somebody else. There we go. Now we can get this started. Oh, I think I need to stay ranged. Oh, bear. that not connect? Come on. I don't know where his lair is. I guess it's up to my right. Oh, 
boy. Oh boy. Oh. Ooh, getting toasty. <laughs> getting a little toasty in here. Uh, let's heal up, resist fire, resist magic, and we'll go back and redraw up. No, we want that. We don't want that. Some magic or healing, right? Regeneration, resist fire. I don't want to use that. Finally. Nope. Nope. Oh, man. Okay, now that I've gotten that stuff, I still have not enough room for either of these. <laughs> okay, I have room for that. Alright, yep. And I still have to get to the top of this mountain somehow. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I either need to stop using ebony arrows when I get home... Or I need to switch up. Okay. Yeah, this is a slim bet, but we're going for it. Okay. Alright. Alright. Hey, here we go. Yeah. Somebody's been through here. Probably the dragon. Okay. Got multiple steps up then. Ooh, potion, potion, potions. And nightshade. I expect poisons, but I'll take them. Or poisoning ingredients. This one actually might be a uh, another... Um, what are they called? Ah, dragon priests, that's what they're called. I almost wanted to call them dragon moths. I'm thinking of the moth priests, though, separately, so... Not what I'm thinking of right now. These are dragon priests. If there is one, and if there is one, there should be a coffin. I do not see a coffin, which is good. Oh man, there should just be one dragon priest, though, who's just lying out on the ground. Just, like, shallow grave. They didn't, like, it was the last dragon priest, you know? So his followers weren't really, you know, up on, up on him, you know? They weren't the best followers. He was like, eh, put him on a ditch. Put him in the ditch. Finally, this is a very good shout. Um, it is used against you multiple times. Every time you, essentially every, it's basically the only way to lose your weapon in the game. I think there might be a perk on one of the fighting trees to allow you to learn uh, to disarm with power attack, but I do not believe so. Um, leaving that shout really is pretty much the only way to disarm enemies effectively. Although, it's a weird disarm. Because the enemy can just pick the weapon back up. But it does send the weapon flying, usually. That's a beefy skeleton. He got some he got some meat on them bones, doesn't he? There we go. Staff of Courage. Pretty useless. Don't know why I picked it up. God, I got so many staffs. Okay. We're getting close-ish, so I will just discover whatever entrance this is. South Cold Rock Pass. Okay. See? 
A lot of these passes are so far up the mountains already that they don't really, in my opinion, give you much of an edge when it comes to uh, cutting through the mountains. We're not checking this out yet. Yeah. Oh, there is already ghost jewel enemies here, though. I knew they showed up for the quest. I just didn't know they were here. I mean, it makes sense they're here. I don't want to do this. Well, that's a good thing, because you did die from it. It was perfect. I'm sorry. Ah! Don't be sorry, Ghost Adventurer. I get your loot. I don't have any choice. I don't have any choice. I'm it's okay. It's all right, buddy. Just give me all the stuff that I want. Yeah. Now we just go home. Should not be a far walk. What? Might be a far drop, though. Not okay. No. No damage. Good. There goes me spooking some deer again. Xanthar's not the hunter type. I mean, he'll do it, but he definitely doesn't have the sneak and uh, stealth required. What do we got? Oh, we got. Oh, I can. I can take it. I can take it. I can. I can get this one. I can get this one. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, the proper way to hunt is pretty much stealth the whole time and keep a ranged weapon. And definitely keep track of where your enemies uh, fell, because that can be very easy to miss. What are you talking about? And you can spook them just like that. Also trying to get some antlers, just for some more gathering ingredients. Oh, this place seems real familiar. Screw it. Nope. Okay, come on. Now you're just messing with me. Kill shot, yes, please kill shot, please. Beautiful. Where was he? Where was he? Sounds like a troll. All right, we're done hunting. Time to go home. Okay. Ugh. I tell you, logs and hills, my downfall. What? Not us. And just three deer, just chilling here, of course, taunting me, taunting me as they always do. You got this. Nope, still more west or east. I'm telling you, home's right there. It's right there. Uh, in keeping with the theme of uh, touring, whatever places I am at. Um, I will be doing a tour of my house next episode. Very short, probably, but. Oh yeah, this is the, fa this is the uh, non fast traveling, quick movement, I call it. Uh, just, just get yourself something to conjure and get restoration. What? 
Nakas! Yep, all you need. Restoration, something to conjure that can fight stuff that you run into, and a uh, whirlwind sprint. Until you run out of Magicka. Okay. Gosh, I have so much. Okay. We will, though... I ain't gonna take care of that giant now. We can take care of him at the beginning of the next episode. He's right there. Yo, what is that? Like three or four markers on top of each other? Toward my house? Not actually for my house, though. For, uh... Stuff probably past it. What? Not Lydia. Looked like they had a mane from the side. Long life to you, Thane. All right, yeah, then. You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. We'll do outside last, but yeah. Helldarchen Hall. Nice place, nice place. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to leave it here. Cut the recording a little bit short. Uh, but yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing. Uh, feel free to do the stuff if you like. And uh, once again, get some H2O, baby. Stay hydrated. Take care, gamers.